Ahmad Miss Weaver. Uh, today, I just want to I just want to give my informational speech. Those are this is my audience, and uh, I'm just going to give my speech on the informational informative speech. Hi, my name is Steve Coloco, and today I'm here to uh, explain, to show you, to inform you guys on how to build your own computer. In today's economy, it's really hard for, uh, to, bet, to get your computer. Uh, most of the people just, you know, just go on at Best Buy, buy their own computer, uh, even though it's really, really expensive. Uh, one of the cheapest way to have a nice computer with very, very high performance is to build it on your own. In your uh, in your own backyard, like like like, like they always like to say, uh, there's three steps basically when you build your computer. The first step is to uh, basically all the parts that you need to get to do your computer, which is what, which is which is uh, basically your motherboard, your processor, and stuff like that. Um, then the second thing that I'm going to talk to you today about is the procedure. How, what to do to exactly build your computer. And the last part is gonna be basically all the optional part that you need, such like a nice, a nice monitor and stuff like that. Uh, so basically all the things to buy are basically the case of the computer is the very first thing to buy. Right after the case, you have to buy your a motherboard, which is the most important part of the whole computer. Uh, right after that, you need to get a processor, which is the brain of the computer. And uh, then right after that, you need RAMs, uh, which are basically short memory of the computer, and uh, as well as a hard drive, which is basically the main storage, the main, the main memory of the whole computer. And uh, last but not least, you're going to need a, a power supply to uh, have to receive so that all those parts can have electricity. Uh, the procedure basically is... Uh, to connect, the first thing you do is just connect the, the processor into the slot in the main board, in the motherboard. Right after that, you need to connect the RAMs in the respective slot in the main board as well. The main board has uh, everything all together. It's, it's pretty, it's either, either it fits or it doesn't fit. Uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Then basically after that, you need to screw the main board onto the case of the computer. And, uh, and basically, and, and then and then right after that, uh, once 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 you have connect all the parts into the into your main board, uh, you just need to uh, basically double check if it's very very well connected, and then have a test to see if the computer is is working very well. Uh, the first test basically is to see if the fan on the computer is working right, so you can uh, basically double check make sure that it doesn't burn out your processor. And once you're done plugging in all the computer, you can have it. You can just connect the computer, the desktop computer, into your monitor, and see if you have any type of graphics, any type of display. Uh, and then right after that, I would like to talk to you about all the optional that you need that, that you can have on your computer. You can basically have a nice monitor. You can have a, a better graphic card, better better RAMs, better everything basically, and. Uh, and then right after that, you should be able to save a lot of money uh, building your computer. So uh, to summarize, there's three main things that you need to build your own computer. You're going to need to go buy the, all the pieces, basically know how to read all the procedures, and, uh, and, uh, and enjoy your computer. So thank you very much for your time, and thank you. Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>